Hi guys, it's Nikita Curry here and I'm here with a sauce. Um, I was called to um, my partner's universal and uh, yeah, I got the opportunity through them and when I got the call, I was very excited and I felt like um, it was an opportunity that, you know, it was a long time coming. So. I definitely, definitely was looking forward to it. And um, the experience has been amazing. It's, it was amazing from beginning to end. You know me though, as much as many things can make me happy, there's nothing that makes me happier than professionalism. So oh being with a professional team and um, in a space where people are really, really working hard and doing the most, uh, that's, that's where I thrive. So I, just, I think I loved it, yeah. I always wanted to be in Cook Studio. You know, when I was younger, I really, really, felt like it's an opportunity that I really deserved, but I realized that God's timing is the best timing because um, it wasn't the right time and I needed time to grow as an artist, as an individual, to grow mentally. Um, also just to accept that it's, it's, it's never gonna be up to me when things happen. So I submitted to the process and it happened. Yes, yeah, so now, now I'm, I've stopped forcing issues. Like if, if an opportunity is mine, it's mine. And if it's not, it's not. The creative process was very quick. Um, these guys are so talented, so it doesn't take them too long to come up with something. And plus, I'm pretty sure they have a whole team that makes their process so much easier. But um, yeah, I was expecting them to be very intimidating. But when we sat together, I was like, wow, 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 wow. These guys are so sweet. And um, you know, for people as famous as them, you, you wouldn't expect them to, to show you so much love that they did. I have so many artists, but I think I always say Rema, just because I want to see him. Oh my God, yeah. he just won an MBA. Yes, that was amazing. I'm so, I'm proud of him, yeah. The lesson that I've learned so far is that um, how you treat people is so important. How you work with people, they, they'll always remember, and that's how you form your connection. Because some of these opportunities are given to me because maybe someone felt like, you know, Nikita is the best for this just because I know she'll keep time. I really remember it's an opportunity I got strictly because they said she's the one who keep time. So give her that opportunity. And um, I got it and those are golden opportunities. So that, that's it. I, I, I remember sometimes I'm here and I get frustrated. I'm like, why don't people start on time? There's always some sort of delay. But then I realized that I can't give up and be like, okay, it's how since that's how it is, that's how we're going to work together. No, I'm just going to keep up with my professionalism. People will just have to catch up. <laughs> I just feel like I'm an ordinary human being. Like there's nothing, honestly, there's nothing truly, truly special because I wake up usually 6.37. I um, spend, <laughs> spend the first 30 minutes to an hour on my phone, yeah. which is something I, I won't even say I want to stop. I don't want to stop, but like I know for sure it's not healthy for him, for me. So eventually I'll have to work on it. So I do that and then um, I get into work. Um, um, for a while, I had to manage myself, so I, I'm, I still have to do a lot of the uh, papers, uh, all that admin like, work, like admin work, like that's the work I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That that's usually like 60, 70 percent of the work. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's why I woke up first, do the admin work, the legal work, then um, catch up with my um, team that I have right now, figure out what the plan for the day is. After that. Exercise if I feel like it. If I don't feel like it, I'm not gonna do it. Um, then make my food, and then um, the rest of the day I'm gonna make music. And if I'm not making music, I'm making nails. I have a, I make people's hair and nails. Oh my yeah, god! But, yeah, <laughs> but it's low key. I don't want anyone to know I do it. So I have my you own car. I have my cup. page. No, I'm not gonna tell anyone. It's only <laughs> for the special people close to me, um, as I wait to open my 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 business. Because of Thing is one like I have influence so if I have something I believe in I know I can make other people believe that yeah which is very sensitive so you have to be, you also have to be very careful the other pro is opportunities at the end of the day worst case even this even if this career was not to work out you know I know that I will still be able to, to get small money to feed myself I know even if, if something went wrong completely there's a baseline and um, I'm happy that because of the work I have put in, um, uh, I don't feel like I will ever like, drop down and completely. Um, cons is, you know, now you're way more self-conscious. Like for me, my anxiety skyrocketed. Like, you know, you're always wondering, am I doing this? Do I look like this? Like, 
want you what other people think of you all the time and this last year has made my anxiety through the roof i don't even know why but it made me not you know that's why i got into doing people's hair makeup and nails because i don't even want to leave my space because when i'm out there i feel like i'm you know being surveilled and i just feel like um the world is looking at me so that that anxiety has been has been the biggest con and then the is there a second con what's another con the con of course is that i can't really express myself freely there's a lot of opinions that i have but now i know if i say something even slightly wrong i, I may just yeah. get cancelled really so i have to really censor myself but eventually when i get what i want and when i come big enough i'll open my mouth <laughs> but i don't know to want to say that it's a way for me to cope but it's just been like the other option instead of going out i just rather stay i just rather be doing something else something in a in a safe space which is my home um what else would now to cope with and that what do i even do i just stay with my friends and my family my family are my safe haven so i'm always around them and yeah that's it happy i'm not doing crazy things <laughs> there's a lot of new music there's a lot of new music coming up um a lot of collaborations i wanted this time of the year to just be about collaborations i'm happy it started with a polygraph something so big so people should just expect lots of collaborations and new music new style um upbeat What's stuff genres, genres we were going into dance music we're going to afro dance music we're yeah. going into what else are we doing what else are we doing we're doing trap and hip-hop oh my God, that's what yeah yeah that's, those two and afro beat yeah thank you so much for watching <laughs>